Have you all ever heard of Austrian Audio? Well, for me, it is a new company, and holy smokes was I pleasantly surprised. We're gonna be talking about their gaming headset, the PG-16, and then one of their higher-end headphones, the Hi X60. And trust you me, stick through this, because I think you're gonna be pleasantly surprised as well. Now, in your box of both of them, pretty similar as far as accessories. You're gonna get your headphones, headset, you're gonna get this little velour baggie with both of them, then you get your 3.5 cable. Now, Comparing the higher end one to the gaming headset, you can see the cable is a little bit thicker, whatever. Now, you see where your extender goes in on the actual headphones? It's actually threaded in there. So again, it's gonna stick in there. But even on this one right here, whenever you attach it in, I mean, it locks in there really solid. Really cool thing on both of them. Again, the headphones and the headset. If you look at your connection, that's gonna go into the headphone. You see you got that locking deal right down there. Kind of like what you see on a lot of Audio Technicas, right? So bam, you get in there and then twist it to lock it. Now, on the gaming headset, I can't get it to lock. I press it in and it just doesn't twist to lock. On the headphones, it works perfectly fine. So I don't know if that's a flaw with my copy or not, but again, the cable still stays in there perfectly fine. But now, I wanna talk about the comfort, of course, but also the build at the same time, all right? And number one, I just want you to look at these. You probably spotted already just looking them over. Let's start again with the gaming headset. This is I don't want to say lower end, but it is significantly cheaper than this. By the way, these are coming in at around 160 bucks. These are upwards of three to four hundred dollars. So again, looking at this here, you're seeing this red. Well, that's metal going right into the ear cup here. Expanding out your headband, you got the metal reinforced right there as well. And these actually close up like that. So the cool thing about that, of course, travel, right? But also relieving some of those stress points whenever you're twisting them up. Because again, they're just gonna fold instead of breaking. And as you're seeing, yes, you do have that swivel all the way flat there, a little bit forward, and like I showed you, your headphone adjustment or your headband adjustment right there. Now, looking at these ear cushions, super plush, super big. Let me reach over here, get my tape measure. As you can see, plenty of length, plenty of width, plenty of depth like your ears are not going to touch the drivers if they do there's a little bit of foam padding down there now again pleather outside top inside you see you do have cloth now coming over to the headphones they're fully pleather but you do have those perforated holes in there uh, again but there's no way for them to breathe out so you're going to count these as fully pleather but as we just looked at the gaming headset with that really solid build Coming over to the headphones, still the same, right? You're going to these metal brackets right there, right up to here and everything. Now up here, you're going plastic and then in the ear cups, plastic, and the headband is metal up here. And it's really cool how to adjust. It's right on that arm. Really, really just cool. I think they both look aesthetically look awesome as well. Now looking at the great build of both of them, how are they coming in at weight? Of course we have the wire off here, 270 grams. And by the way, your microphone is not detachable. It stays on the game and headset one. Now let's look at these guys over here, which you can tell these ones feel a little bit heavier, 322 grams over here. But no joke, both of these headphones, headsets, whatever you wanna class them as, when you put them on your head, they're almost like non-existent. Even talking about them having a great build and everything, they're just there. You, you, they don't bother you. I'm not getting any pinching, no aching, no uh, no pressure points or nothing. Not on the top of the head, even if I take my hat off here. Fresh shave, by the way. You know, it's just incredibly comfortable. Even with glasses, it's just, it sinks in perfect amount. It really just encloses your ear and everything. Even coming over to the higher end ones, which again, they uh, weigh a little bit more. Just putting them on, it's like they feel great on the head. Stinking cozy across the board hands down here. And like I stated, the build is solid. I don't get worried with either of these. I stretch them out, I twist them up. Again, you got those flex points, so you don't have to worry. Coming over to the higher end one, I twist it up, flex it up. I'm not worried one bit, guys. Across the board, build, comfort, style, total win here. So how about the microphone on the gaming headset model here? That's exactly what you're hearing. Obviously, we don't have a microphone on the actual headphone one. Now, I ain't plugged straight 3.5, and then my volume right at the media marker right there. No trickery, no tweaking, no nothing. If I pull the microphone in, this is what it's going to sound like right there. The windscreen's included, by the way. Now, if I pull the microphone out, this is what it's going to sound like. Maybe if I bring it down below my chin where it's completely out of my vision, this is what we're sounding like. And again, right back to in front of my mouth. This is what it sounds like. Now, if the microphone, it has a flip up to mute right here. 
pull it back down. We're active. Now the weird thing, let me see. Yes. Okay. So we did mute. Now the weird thing, when I flip it up there to mute, you don't get a click. You don't get a tone. You get nothing. It is smooth activation from here all the way up to the top. So it's, you have no notification like, okay, am I muted? You know what? Let's check this. I want to do something. So again, we're active. Active, 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 active. Is the microphone still active? Active, active, active. So as you can see right there, like, like you got to get all the way to the top and make sure it's back there so it is muted because there's no click, no tactile notification, no nothing. Smooth glides all the way to the mute. Anyways, this is the microphone. Now listen to that microphone playback right there. I honestly think it sounded pretty good. I don't even want to say there's too much bass or too many highs. It sounded really natural like a phone call, but it did pick up some background noise. I have my AC running and the, the return vent or whatever's right there. So that's sucking the air so you get a little bit more tone in there. And I did hear that when listening to the microphone playback with these headphones. I don't know if you guys are going to catch it, but all in all, I, I think the microphone's definitely passable, just picking up a little bit of background noise. And by the way, when I was doing a microphone test, I actually got this cable to stick now. I just couldn't get it before. Got it in there and really gave it some serious muscle and it's actually locked in. So we fixed that problem. Now let's go ahead and talk about the sound of both of these. Okay, both of them are using 44 millimeter drivers. Kind of weird. You usually see 40 or 50 or something like that, you know, but 44 right here, both running off 25 ohms. So they're going to work across any device, packing plenty of punch there. Again, if you're going straight into a controller, into a phone, into a Mac or PC, something like that, they're going to work on anything. Now, as far as frequency range, let me double check this right here. These guys are running 5 to 28 and these are running 15 to 24. I had to look back at the box. Could have memorized that, right? But anyways, talking about the frequency range, really not far off each other. Again, packing same drive and everything, right? So talking about the core sound here, starting with the gaming headset, I had a really good time with this one across every game I was playing, right? Y'all know I play a lot of Halo and a lot of Destiny right now, Uncharted, Borderlands, you know? There was plenty of back and bass, plenty of highs. The mids were right here, just kind of helping them both out. Nothing muddy or nothing rumbled, anything like that. Wasn't punchy by any means. Both of them definitely geared towards the highs clear as day geared towards the highs, okay? But the sound was just natural. It, it was pure, it was balanced. It had that immersion as well. It wasn't super full VZR1 like we just recently talked about right here, right? Again, geared towards the highs, hands down. Very good for competitive games, right? Very good uh, playing Halo because it had that back end immersion right there, but it also had plenty of highs. It was a really nice combo over here. Again, it was really good for every game I was playing, video I was watching, music I was listening to. Now, it's going to get a little different when we come over to the headphones here. Talking about it geared towards the highs, same as this, but I didn't have much of that back end bass right here. This was more or less that pure, natural sound. Like if I was watching a video or listening to the maybe like classical music, something like that, something that I didn't really want that punch, you know, rock or, or hip hop EDM. I wouldn't say this is your route to go. I'd put this as like, say for gaming, competitive, Rainbow Six, right, Valorant, uh, Counter-Strike, something like that where you're geared a, a lot of highs, so you know what I mean? That's where I put this classical music. If you're just doing movies, videos, editing, that's where something like this comes in. Again, being a, you know, top end, you know, audiophile style of headphone, that's pretty much what you're getting over here. This one was, a, I had a lot more fun with, you know what I mean? Not saying this is bad, it's just, it's different. This, you kind of get that, gamer vibe if we got to say it that way you know what i mean i had a little bit more immersion with this and it was nice getting the detail across both of them two very similar sounding headphones but again that core difference truly separates them again straight up highs little bit more immersion over here, but both of them were crystal clear, nice and detailed, just a little bit more immersion over here, geared mainly towards detail over here. Very fun sounding headphones. So after looking them over, would I recommend them? Heck yeah, easily, right? What are you looking for? That's where you decipher that. Like even looking at the PG-16, they offer them in a Bluetooth version here. Now it's not the gaming headset, you know, so you don't got the mic and of course you don't want a game with just Bluetooth. But if you're looking for, again, that pair of headphones just to use as Bluetooth, maybe mobile gaming, well, you got an option. And Austrian Auto has so many different headphones out there. It's really cool, you know? I'm, I hope this is just a start of their gaming headsets because I'd love to see something with this kind of higher end type build and stuff, even though both of them are built great, so take it easy when I say that, but I hope this is just the beginning for them right here. But again, if you're looking for a gaming headset that's really kind of headphone-ish, you got that build and just that core quality, 
Yo, this is awesome. This is really fun to PG-16. Now, it comes in at 170 bucks. It's kind of at that mid-tier right there, but it's packing what you need. You know what I mean? It really is. Now, the cool thing is I believe they have a headphone. I forget the model number. I'll throw it up on a screen and link it in the description, but I believe it's only 119 and it's packing the exact same features as this, same build as this, but it's actually 119, you don't get the microphone. So maybe if you got like a standalone microphone, which is what I usually use, right? I got my microphone up here and control it that way and I just use my headset for the sound. Maybe you can try something like that. That might be a good, uh, good starting ground just to dabble with. And at 119, I haven't tested them so I can't speak too much on them. If you tested them or you tried them, let me know in the comments because I'm really curious. Now to be really interested, I, I think if you get this kind of sound, this package, just without the microphone for 120 bucks, yo, complete win right there. But even at 170, 160, whatever this is, I really like this. Coming over here at 429 bucks, again, it's gotta be what you're looking for. But I love, 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 love what I'm seeing from this company, Austrian Audio, and I hope this is just the beginning.